A random variable is a quantity generated by a random experiment. It must take a numerical value and is labeled by a capital letter. For example, capital X is the number of dial ends on when it's thrown. It is random and not predictable. A small letter is used for a particular value of the random variable. For example, little x can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. A discrete random variable has either a finite or countable number of possible values. x can have only 6 values. So it is a discrete random variable. P, capital X equals little x, refers to the probability that random variable x is equal to a particular value x. Another example of random variable is capital Y. It is the number of heads when a coin is tossed six times. Little y could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. The probability distribution of a random variable is a listing of the possible values of the variable and the corresponding probabilities. We usually put it in a probability distribution table. For example, random variable x is the number of dial ends on, when it's thrown. The first row is little x. It can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. The second row is p, capital X equals little x. It's the probability of each possible outcome. We know that they are all 1 over 6. We can see that the sum of all probabilities in a probability distribution should be 1. After you draw out a probability distribution table, remember to check if all probabilities add to 1. If we put the probabilities in a graph, we can see that probabilities only exist at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is because x is discrete. The height of each line is 1 over 6. And they add up to 1. If we carry out the experiments, the frequency is approximately total frequency times probability. For example, if we throw a die 600 times, it'll land on 3 about 100 times. Notice that it is about 100 times, not exactly 100 times. This is because those probabilities are theoretical. In the real world, the number will always be off more or less. And the more experiments you carry, the closer the probability will get to the theoretical value. Now let's look at another example of probability distribution. Random variable x is the total of two dice when they are thrown. We draw this 6 by 6 table again and calculate the totals in the content. We see that x can be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Total number of cases is 36. Now, in the probability distribution table, the first row is little x. Let's put all possible values there. The second row is p, capital X equals little x. Let's count the number of cases for each x. In the table, there's 1, 2. So px equals 2 is 1 over 36. There are two 3s. So px equals 3 is 2 over 36. We do the same for the rest and put corresponding probabilities under all numbers. This is the probability distribution table for x. If we put all probabilities in the graph, we can see that probabilities are symmetric about 7. When dealing with probabilities, we may see some inequalities. If it is greater than, larger than, or more than, we use the greater than operator. px greater than 5, is p6, 7, 8 and so on, if x is an integer. If you see no less than, or at least, we use the greater than or equal to operator. px greater than or equal to 5, is p5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. 5 is included. px greater than or equal to 5, is px equal to 5, plus px greater than 5. If it is smaller than, or less than, we use the less than operator. px less than 5, is p4, 3, 2 and so on. If you see no more than, or at most, we use the less than or equal to operator. Px less than or equal to 5, is P5, 4, 3, 2 and so on. 5 is included. Px less than or equal to 5, is Px equal to 5, plus
plus px less than 5. In general, px greater than or equal to x, is px equals x, plus px greater than x. px less than or equal to x, is px equals x, plus px less than x. px less than x, plus px greater than or equal to x, is 1. px greater than x, plus px less than or equal to x, is 1. We know the one important property of probability distribution is that all probabilities add to 1. We can use this to solve some problems. Given this probability distribution table, find a, the value of c, b probability of t greater than or equal to 3, c probability of t less than or equal to 3. We know all probabilities add to 1. So c plus 4 c plus 3 c plus 2 c is 1. So C is 0.1. Pt greater than or equal to 3 is P3 and 4. This is 5C, which is 0.5. Pt less than or equal to 3 is P1, 2 and 3. This is 8C, which is 0.8. In this class, we learned. Discrete random variables. Draw a probability distribution table for a discrete random variable. Use sum of all probabilities is 1 to solve probability distribution problems.